Okay, guys, so uh, I, I, I mentioned I was going to upgrade my PC, and this is the stuff that I've got so far. So I'll kind of go over it. I will make a separate video when I actually get all this stuff, start to put this stuff in the computer, okay? So there'll be that'll be a separate video when I do the upgrade, all right? This is just talking about my old computer and then what I plan to do with it, all right? So like I said, I'm still going to keep the same case and those same motherboards and all that stuff. Uh, no, not the motherboard, the, um, the drives, all right? The drives are the important thing because they got all my videos on it. I haven't been able to edit videos for more than a week now, and it's driving me crazy, all right? I'm thinking of getting a laptop, all right? Also, uh, if I, I need a laptop that I can edit videos if something happens to this computer, okay? And I don't have one. I'm, all my video, all my laptops, like, they don't, they can't edit video because they suck, okay? <laughs> so, all right, um, anyway, that's my old motherboard. This is my new motherboard. Let's take a look at this. This is actually not the right uh, box for it, all right? So I bought this from a guy in uh, Menlo Park, all right? If you guys don't know where Menlo Park is, it's near uh, Palo Alto. It's near Stanford University, all right? He worked for Facebook is what he told me. <laughs> That's where I got this from. He sold me this for $100, all right? I, I talked him down from $120 to, uh, to 100 bucks. all right? And it only came with the board, basically, all right? Uh, but it is a uh, X570. It's based on the X570 board, all right? Um, and so, yeah, look at some of the stuff that's on here. So, Ryzen, Ryzen 5000 desktop ready, Wi-Fi 6E. I don't even know what a Wi-Fi 6E is, guys. This has Wi-Fi, all right? This doesn't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> By the way, I use Ethernet, guys. I use a, a LAN cable. Okay, plug it straight into the router. It's fast, the fastest, right? Um, at HDMI. I think this has HD. Yeah, this has HDMI. Um, Windows 7, Windows 11 ready, all right? Windows 7, all right? That tells you how old this shit is, right? There's no SLI. This still does SLI. I guess this is to do SLI. <laughs> okay, so this is an AMD socket AM4, all right? It's an X570 chipset. This has PCI 4 ready and has USB 3.2, guys. Not USB 3, 3.2. It can operate at 10 gigabits. It uses a NVMe SSD RAID card also. All right. Uh, it's very. This card. This box is very similar to what's in here. I'll show you guys what's in there in a minute. What? What PCI is on this thing? Let me see. It just says PCI Express 16. What PCI version is this though? See, this is so old, it doesn't even say what PCI version it is. <laughs> it doesn't say. Yeah, this is probably PCI Express 1.0 or something, right? Okay, so anyway, here's the card, the, the motherboard. All right, the guy was nice enough to give me some SATA cables. They're in here. There's a couple SATA cables and stuff in here. Okay. Um, generally, this I don't think you really need all that many tools. Let me take this out of the box. Okay, well, the interesting thing is he gave me a lot of stuff from his old mother, his new motherboard, all right? So, um, so the reason the guy uh, so was selling this, this is a MSI X570 Tomahawk, uh, Tomahawk Max, I think, or Tomahawk's Wi-Fi, wi all right? It's socket AM4. It's the next socket generation above the one that I have in that computer right now, okay? The, from this one, from this one, okay? It uses DDR4. Okay, RAM, DDR4. This is a DDR3. Um, it has, I think, two PCI 16 slots right here. It has a steel one for like a really heavy card, all right? I don't think that card is very heavy. But I, heard, I know like the, the more powerful cards are like, they're insanely huge and heavy. So that's why it's like out of like reinforced PCI slot right here. <laughs> okay. It has a NVMe port, all right, our M2 port here and here. Okay, so I can put two NVMe SSDs. My idea is to get, um, to have one here and then have another one to back up the other one. So I would have like a backup image on another drive. So just in case that one, uh, my main drive failed like it did in that computer. Okay, so, um, but the good thing is like if I, if any of the drives go bad, I can back up. I have backups for everything. I've never had a hard drive go bad on me for a long, long time. So. It's a good thing. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, there's your socket AM4, so tiny. Um, yeah, so there it is. So this is MSI X570 Tomahawk. I originally wanted to buy 
a B550 Tomahawk. That's the one I was going to buy. Then I saw this one for sale on Facebook Marketplace and I bought it from that guy. Okay. Pretty awesome. It's got pretty good port. Man, this thing is heavy. So you can see the Wi Fi stuff. I think there's a. Oh, yeah. These are the Wi Fi antennas. So if I did want to use Wi Fi on it, I could use it. Okay. Okay. So this is the CPU cooler that I bought for, the comp for this uh, motherboard. All right. Um, this also works on socket AM3. So I could actually use this on this right here. Um, but uh, it is freaking massive. And guess who sells it? Scythe, all right. Like I said, Hades Mag is a big product, um, big fan of the Scythe product lines. Okay, so this it works on a number of different CPUs. It can do Intel, AMD. You just change the little, you know, the mounts for it. So you can actually take these off and install their mounts, and then just you screw it into the board. It's pretty nuts, um, and it's super heavy, guys. Look at how heavy this thing. This has a 120 millimeter fan, all right. It's the same fan that that the Ultra Kaze is, the one that's in the back there. Yeah. That's the same fan here. So the reason being I wanted the 120 millimeter fan. See one Kaze Flex 120. This is that one is the Ultra Kaze. This was like a, a quieter one. It's a low profile. This is the Mugen 5, alright? Mugen 5 CPU cooler. Just get, you guys can get a sneak peek of it. Alright. <laughs> so this is all the mounting hardware here. It's super heavy. Alright, there is actually a freaking uh screwdriver in there they give you I, I, I don't know man i got screwdrivers bro um those people in japan maybe they don't you know they can't go to the dollar store and get one so this is the fan it's actually not attached to it you got to install it you can actually do a dual fan setup on this all right the, um my plan is to have this one be a pusher fan all right so this is gonna i think it's gonna install it's gonna install sideways, I think. It's not gonna see how see how this one has the fan going up and down. I think this one's gonna be sideways. So I'm gonna have a fan on this side and it's gonna be blowing that way. Alright, and then this is gonna be sucking the air going that way. So one will be a pusher and one will be a uh, a puller. Okay. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. Oh <laughs> it's enormous. Yeah, it blew my mind when I first saw this thing, man. So yeah, the fan's gonna just gonna go on there. It can go on either side too, I think. It is enormous, man. Okay, it's heavy. Um, I guess the hardware is pretty heavy, but yeah, I guess it's not too heavy. But yeah, I hope it doesn't break this. I hope these mounts are strong, man. <laughs> so we'll say it, okay? Okay, so that's the CPU cooler, all right? I think that was about fifty bucks. Um, yeah, computer stuff really isn't all that expensive nowadays. All right, and then obviously I need new RAM. All right, um, uh, uh, this is a DDR. This is the same uh, same RAM as the other one. This is a G Skill Rip Jaws. All right, <laughs> so so it's the same RAM as the other one, but it's uh, for DDR4 systems. All right, it's Intel XMP 2.0 ready or whatever that means, uh, but it's DDR4. 4000. All right, and it's 16 gigabytes times two. So this is 32. 32 gigabytes yeah so 32 gigabytes two sticks all right so i can put a total of 64 gigabytes if i buy another batch of these all right this wasn't that expensive too i think it's like 100 bucks or something it's okay okay and then uh i've got i can't open the boxes right now but i've got new front uh ports for this uh, one of these is a fan controller and one of these is a um usb front panel all right so it's basically to replace all the stuff that's in here okay it's to replace uh it's to replace this because obviously this doesn't work anymore this got damaged in the fire and it's to replace this fan controller but i you know what i might want to buy see if i can buy another one of these scythe ones i, I like this this is really good if i could just get a new one this one's just kind of busted man this is see this one doesn't even do anything Oh, because it's not hooked up. It's supposed to be connected to the, these fans, all right. Um, but yeah, so you can see. See the RPM go up. I think there's a temperature. There should be a temperature. I guess it doesn't. So, like I said, this is broken. It doesn't. It doesn't really work anymore. This one doesn't even work anymore, man. Okay, so yeah not broke off of it so so that's why i wanted to get a new one so I, I did buy a new one but i think i'm gonna see if i can buy another one of these i, I like this this scythe one 
I won't buy it again. <laughs> okay. okay, guys, so uh, that, that is my uh, outgoing system uh, vlog, all right, computer vlog. Um, that's the system I talked about in my computer history and like about the, my computer and, and like my history building computers and stuff. And so, so begins the next chapter in the Hades Vegas desktop PC uh, building uh, fun. <laughs> so let's say, all right. So you saw the uh, you saw the new components that I have. Uh, I still have a CPU on the coming on the way, and a new uh, power supply. I figure. It's probably time to replace that power supply. I got an MSI power supply. I'm trying to buy as much MSI stuff as I could. Um, uh, the last motherboard I had was an MSI, so I just went with them again. So, <laughs> all right, I'm trying to go with all MSI stuff. Um, I think I've used Asus before also. So, there's a whole bunch of um, there's a whole bunch of different PC manufacturers out there, right? but I'm going to stick with MSI and NVIDIA and AMD and all that stuff, all right? So Team, team AMD, Hades Mega is part of Team AMD. <laughs> so let's say, I've got a AMD Ryzen 5 5600X uh, CPU coming, all right? And I've got a 650 watt MSI uh, power supply. And I've got uh, a Western Digital SSD, the NVMe SSD, okay? So Hades Mega is gonna be uh, up to date pretty much all right um however am5 has already come out all right <laughs> am5 already came out everything's all still getting faster you know technology doesn't stop all right all the stuff that Hazen Meg is buying is already last technology last generation technology all right but it's gotten much cheaper i think i think the cpu i'm buying used to be like 300 bucks and now it's like only like you can find them for 100 bucks pretty easily okay um the 5600x is a good cpu from what i heard um i did a lot of re i know i had to hazel make i had to do a lot a lot of research to figure out like what parts i want to buy you know i don't want to buy top of the line but i don't want to uh, my idea is to buy the best stuff that i can all right the best computer equipment that i can that i can afford okay i don't want to spend too much money like a lot of the components are not more than 100 bucks like i got that motherboard um i'm pretty sure the guy the guy that sold me that board he paid like 400 something dollars for that board because i saw the the price tag on it, it said 425 dollars on it all right um that motherboard is not cheap but like i said i was gonna buy a amd b550 board and then i wound up getting an x570 because i saw that one i, I actually didn't want to buy that one that one was the that one was the higher end level one that cost more right but i saw this one and it was cheaper than everything else so i said oh shit well the only thing is it didn't come with a manual didn't come with this cd or whatever didn't come with x it didn't come with the box i don't have the right box for it the box is his new motherboard box all right i don't know where he got this from right but i, I did want the tomahawk one uh the tomahawk was the it seemed like the good specs that i wanted all right i wanted the best that i can buy for the you know for not that much money <laughs> and I, I think i got it all right <laughs> Um, so so far, I think of about I'm probably close to five hundred dollars in there, and I don't even know if my computer's gonna start up. <laughs> I I don't know how we're gonna upgrade to Windows 10 or 11. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get my Windows 7 running still. All right, it doesn't run right now, but hopefully it does when I build a new computer. Um, but then I don't know if it's gonna run with all those components and stuff. And I don't have the drivers and all that stuff for that motherboard. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to see if I could some, find some way to, to to download all the drivers and stuff from MSI's website. That's what we're gonna have to do, unfortunately. But at least it'll be the most up-to-date stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, if you've stuck with me, I, th I know this video is probably like an hour long. Thanks for thanks for coming along on the ride on Hades Mega's uh, computer journey. All right. So I mean, this is where Hades Omega Moto and Hades Omega Channel um you know they they're they're come from this computer right here all right and it, this computer is very important to me and um you know i spend a lot of my time i spend a lot of my time and my money on it <laughs> basically all right but this computer makes me money right i make youtube videos and i make money from making youtube videos all right and i you know i do all my other computer stuff with this computer i do taxes on this computer i you know i 
I print stuff from this computer. I, you know, I do internet stuff. I post stuff on forums and, and I download anime. Yeah, I, this computer does a lot, a lot of stuff in my day-to-day -day life is what I say. So uh, I want to have like the best computer that, that I can, you know. And so I, all I have to say is I built one hell of a system, all right. Um, it's, it's lasted almost two decades. So I'm expecting this one to last another two decades. I just maybe it will be like old old man by the time it's time to upgrade this guy again and then, then Hayes Mega will be scratching his head off what are they doing now they got like all this oh virtual reality now they, don't, they won't even have virtual reality we'll have like a, the nerve gear from like a S sword art online right <laughs> some crazy stuff like that right yeah computers will just be like totally different like like now we've got like touch screens and all that stuff and smartphones and bluetooth and all that all that stuff wasn't around when I was building computers way back when right is what i say okay computers have changed a whole lot and Hayes mega is sort of lagging behind i'm not gonna lie okay but um this computer has stayed in the game for a while now i'm surprised how long it lasts i knew one day i knew one day its number would have been up and it, that was last week so okay thanks for watching Hayes mega out